It was also an opportunity for some inner citizens to join Hero. Wells Crowder. Wells Crowder is one of those heroes. This was an ordinary workday on the 104th floor of the secondary World Trade Center. It was approximately 8.46 when flight 11 hit the North Tower. Wells was near the house and thought to himself, leave the building and wait for it, or go stay and save lives. Before he made his decision, he took out his phone and called his mom. I'm okay. That was the last the parents had er, ever heard from him. Unfortunately, Wells did not make it out alive, and they recovered his body six months later. That's a half a year. Although, some survivors started telling stories about a young gentleman wearing a red bandana who had saved their life. The survivors were curious on who had saved their life. But, after Wells' parents heard all the stories, they knew it was their son, because his father had taught him to carry two bandanas. One for each back pocket. He said one was for show and one was for blowing your nose. It was so that 18 people would not be breathing in this world today if Wells was not there. A week before this tragedy, he told his father he did not want to spend his life in front of, in front of a computer playing video games and spend his life doing something he knew he would enjoy. And he became a volunteer friend. I hope we all have some kindness and graciousness of Wells. My second hero was William Rodriguez. Rodriguez was in the basement when flight 11 hit. It had, he had only one of five keys to all the doors of the stairway. That's really rare. He opened the doors so the firefighters could get in, and he saved over 100 lives with that key. The only reason he survived was because when the building was collapsing, he built one under a fire truck. He got from the lift and he went to a revival tent across the street. It had the people who were injured or, or were dying. He wanted to save more lives in the country. He saved an additional 100 lives in the, one in the tent. That day, Rodriguez realized the most important things in life are your friends and family, and the ones who love them, not your money and job. So now you see why I picked 9 11 volunteers, because these people risk their lives for other people's lives. Would you have gone in and saved lives? Think about it.